टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ऑल्टरनेशन ऑफ जेनरेशन मेनी स्टूडेंट्स डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दिस बेसिक टर्म रिलेटेड टू विच सो मेनी क्वेश्चन आर आज इन योर नीट एग्जामिनेशन सो फॉर ऑल दो स्टूडेंट हु डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दिस टर्म आई एम हेयर विद अ ग्रेट एक्सप्लेनेशन होप यू ऑल एंजॉय दिस लेक्चर चलो सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द टर्म ऑल्टरनेशन ऑफ जेनरेशन बेटा वेन यू स्टडी द लाइफ साइकिल पैटर्न ऑफ अ सेक्शुअली रिप्रोड्यूसिंग ऑर्गेनिज्म वॉट आई सेड आई सेड वेन वी स्टडी द लाइफ साइकिल पैटर्न ऑफ अ सेक्शुअली रिप्रोड्यूसिंग ऑर्गेनिज्म देन दीज ऑर्गेनिज्म दे शोज टू जेनरेशन रेप्रजेंटेड एज हैप्लॉयड एंड डिप्लॉयड the haploid phase is known as gametophytic phase whereas the diploid phase is known as sporophytic phase even you and me we all are sexually reproducing organism we produce our young ones by the mechanism of sexual reproduction so even our life cycle shows two phases the dominant one is sporophytic diploid phase and the reduced one is haploid gametophytic phase switch between this haploid diploid and diploid haploid is known as alternation of generation so what is alternation of generation it is simply the switch between the two phases of life the two distinct phases of life during the sexual reproduction or in a sexually reproducing organism now you know bacteria pro, 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 uh, prokaryotes they do not reproduce sexually so in them there is no alternation of generation in sexually reproducing organism correct and what are the two distinct phases second point the two distinct phases of the life what are those what did i say yes sporophyte and gametophyte correct gametophyte is represented as the haploid phase whereas sporophyte is represented as the diploid phase of the life cycle now switch between this diploid and haploid is known as alternation of generation which is very very important in sexually reproducing organism how this takes place now students if we want to switch from 2n to n that means what did i say if you want to switch from 2n means sporophytic to haploid phase gametophytic phase then the way is performing reduction division that is meiosis right that means gamete formation and now if we want to come back from haploid to diploid phase then how will you restore the ploidy how will you restore the diploid phase from haploid yes absolutely correct it is via fertilization so there are two important steps for alternation of generation that means switch from 2n to n n to 2n meiosis fertilization it keeps on taking place and generations are produced clear will you forget from now onwards no thumbs up well done just a small note point bacterias prokaryotes do not show sexual reproduction right prokaryotes do not reproduce sexually they only reproduce asexually 
by fission method so prokaryotes beta do not reproduce sexually thus since they do not reproduce sexually thus do not show alternation of generation they do not involve this concept of alternation of generation otherwise every single organism from kingdom protista till kingdom animalia all organisms show sexual reproduction and they do exhibit this alternation of generation hope you all have understood this easy and yet very important concept so thank you for watching me